Hi guys, in this video I am doing a super super quick um, logo type thing for a wedding date on these um, inexpensive IKEA uh, blankets. The bride for the wedding I'm going to today um, wants their wedding date and name on this. So I'm going to do these really quick. Um, I have my press set at 385 for 50 seconds and we are going to give this a press. There's no information on this so I don't know... Um, what the numbers or anything like that she said she just bought a whole bunch of them from ikea they look like um inexpensive they're not seamed or anything on the end they're not hemmed so it looks like just standard fleece so i just printed out their wedding date and their names um on copy paper because i'm going to print these right away i printed them on my 2720 they're just in black um I'm going to go ahead and unwrap this and get this one set up. Okay, so I have my press set for super light pressure. I'm going to go over this with my lint roller um, in a couple different directions to try to get everything off. These are mm, really inexpensive, so I definitely wouldn't do this for any high-end stuff. So right now I'm just trying to get the stuff all facing the same direction. This is definitely fleece of some sort. I have low pressure so I can hopefully not leave any of the marks from my press. Yep, so I'm trying to put all of the fibers facing the same direction. You can see there's a light pattern in this. I'm going against that pattern. And then I press this. I am... Okay, so I just cut some of my butcher paper. I got this massive thing of butcher paper at Lowe's, which I was shocked. It was like $26 or something. Had it shipped to store. So I just did a pre-press with the butcher paper over it. So you can see all of my lines and everything are flat so this is what I need I tore around the edges a little bit didn't leave it enough on this end but we should be good so I'm just gonna put this in the corner of where this little um, mark is or where the corner of this is so I'm gonna put the W facing towards that hopefully I have enough torn on it where it's not gonna matter I'm gonna grab my heat tape I get this heat tape on Amazon in a four pack. Um, it's about $14 or something. Um, I will link it in the comments. As I said, I'm using standard copy paper. I don't have extras of these blankets, even though she has a whole bunch of them. Um, she only gave me two, so hopefully these come out okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and push my bottom plate in. As I said, 385 for 50 seconds, and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, so I'm almost done. I didn't unroll it all the way. I'm hoping I can just roll it right back in place. So you can see this is why I use a blowout sheet. tape is pulling the fibers into a different direction so I'm going to so you take your lint roller after you do these and move them back into place so you want to roll these while it's hot I'm rolling this blanket back the way that it was so it should pull all of the fibers back in As I said, this is a really inexpensive blanket. I think she paid, I don't know, maybe $2 or something for them, $2.50 or something, I think she said. Um, through Ikea and had them all shipped. I think she's got, I don't know, 70 or 80 or something because all the guests are getting them at the wedding. So this is what it looks like. I did the plain black with the crest. So you can see, obviously, it's gray. The fibers will lay down um, after a while. Just mess with it. But you can see the light pressure makes it so it doesn't use the 
doesn't leave a heat um, press mark. But this is how I just put the simple wedding date and stuff on the corner of an inexpensive blanket. So I know these blankets, um, you can get some similar to this at the dollar store um, in the baby section. So that's how you do it. I will put all the information, um, including the link for where she got these, um, on my page. Hope this helps everybody. Thanks, guys.